Welcome back to the Knicks. The Wildlife World Zoo Aquarium and Safari Park is still here with us. And they have a, a, a I was going to say a lizard, but it's not a lizard. It's a skink. A skink. Yes. And so, but we were talking about this, and this is what's great about going out to the Safari Park, is you get to learn about the different animals. Because we're saying this isn't a special, kind of like lizard family, but not really lizard family, and that's interesting. Yes, so the skink family actually includes over 600 different species, and the blue tongue skink, which is what we have here, is actually the largest of those species. Okay, so it almost looks like what we have here, and that is the Gila, the Gila monster that yeah. we see sometimes. Is that is that the same family or totally different family? So those are completely different. So these guys are from Australia, so they've evolved completely separately. However, they do have that same kind of similar body shape there, um, a kind of thicker abdomen, the legs kind of further apart. Um, and so that's a good distinction of the skink family as well. Um, so you're gonna see he does have those unique adaptations um, and he does have that beautiful patterning as well. Now these guys are gonna be found on the ground. They're gonna be in grasslands, forests, um, a variety of different habitats, but they don't have great climbing ability, unlike a lot of lizards. Yeah. So um, they're going to be found on the ground. And doing that. Yeah. So um, I also want to make sure people understand something very, 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 very important. Danielle knows what she's doing. So do not go walking around, and even in Australia if you are, and pick up a skink or even like the Gila monsters here. Don't think they're pets and stuff. They're living the wildlife because I was asking you if it was dangerous and you're like, listen, anything with a mouth will bite you, mm -hmm. you know, if it feels threatened. But we were talking about how this one you could tell if it's threatened because of its tongue, right? Yes. So they have that very distinctive blue tongue, which is where they get their name. Now, originally when they were being, um, you know, researched out in the wild, um, people thought that they were venomous because they do have those flashy colors in the mouth. So what they'll do is they'll stick that tongue out um, and kind of make themselves look big so they look really threatening. However, they're not venomous at all. So, um, but you know, it is really important, like you mentioned, to um, be respectful of wildlife and their natural habitat. Um, if you do want to see some really amazing reptiles like Slurpee here, that's his name. Slurpee. Um, if you do want to see Slurpee and some of his amazing reptile um, friends, you can come out to Wildlife World and see our Tropics of the World building, which is where you can see him, as well as our Dragon World building, where we have a ton of amazing reptiles. Wow, and you could do that tomorrow because you have what's happening. We have our annual ice cream social, and we are so, so excited about it. Um, so we do this every single year. Um, our AZAC chapter puts it on for um, guests to come out, and it is a fundraiser. So 100% of those proceeds are actually going to go to local and global conservation efforts, as well as professional development for our staff members. Yeah, and, and the park is, if you haven't been there in a while, they have actually a aquarium that you could check out. They have the water show or um, a habitat show, I kind of like to say, because you get to have these animals uh, that you don't get to usually get close to. Definitely. You get to show what, they're, what they do in the wild, which is really neat. Mm -hmm. um, and then the lions, the tigers, you got all of it out there, and it's just grown so much. Um, so let me ask you another question about uh, Slurpee. Uh, does the weather here help or hurt Slurpee since it's not Australian weather, but it's kind of still the same, right? Yeah, so we actually do have a lot of successful breeding programs with our African and Australian animals because our climate so closely mimic, mimics their natural climates. However, Slurpee is indoors, so um, definitely a great time to come out to Wildlife World um, in the summertime as well. You may not think so because it's nice and warm outside, uh, but we do have those air-conditioned buildings as well. Um, we also have our four full aquarium buildings, like you mentioned, and we're actually doing something for the first time ever in the history of Wildlife World, we are going to do summer hours this year. Ooh. So instead of being 9 to 5 and then 6 for the aquarium, we are now going to be open at 8 a.m. So you can beat that morning or that afternoon heat. We are going to open up at 8 a.m. Um, and then close at 4 p.m. for zoo exhibits and 5 p.m. for the aquarium. I like it. Danielle, thanks for bringing Slurpee and also the McCall Kiko, right? Yes. There you go. Yes. So thank, thank you. you. Information's right on the screen or you can head over to the CW7AZ Dot com to find out more of the Wildlife World Zoo Aquarium and Safari Park.